morning, Bobcats. This is Ron Myers, principal of Byron Nelson High School. Today, I'm coming to you from the Go Center in our counseling department. I have Paige Smith, our lead counselor. She's gonna to talk to you in just a few minutes. Uh, we are actually practicing social distancing because uh, we're all getting ready for when you all come back on September the 14th. But in the meantime, we are looking forward to school beginning tomorrow. As you, in case you haven't heard, School begins tomorrow, uh, but uh, hopefully you have heard that uh, we are ready to, to fire up and learn through remote learning. And uh, I just wanted our, our students and our parents to know that our learning management system, uh, the one thing that keeps everything the same as far as communication with regards to any kind of Zoom links is Moodle. And so uh, you, your, your student should have received um, an email from their first period teacher today, just welcoming them and also get providing them with a Zoom link. So students, I know email may not be your favorite form of communication, but I'm gonna need you to go old school, like not, at least by 10 years ago, and uh, learn how to navigate through eSchool and look for your student, I, student NIST account. Access that any inform, information will be coming to you through through that, uh, through that means. But you can also go to our website uh, because the information that I'm sharing with you today is also posted on our NISD Byron Nelson website. And I also uh, post this video on our BNHS Facebook page. Uh, so there are several ways to keep yourselves informed. Another great way to keep yourself informed about our back to school is the NISD TX Return to Learn site. You'll see the class schedule. You'll, you'll see um, information about safety protocols, just a lot of different information that hopefully will help you as you uh, begin our new 2021 school year, school year tomorrow. We have a lot of teachers working really hard. Our counselors have worked hard. Our, our secretaries, paraprofessionals getting ready uh, to make this year a successful one. Despite the uniqueness of it, we are in kind of uncharted waters or our landscape has changed. We can either look at it through the lens of land or water, but either way, it's, it's different, but that's okay. It's gonna make us better and we're gonna learn a lot because of it. I cannot wait to see you all um, and hear about your performance, hear about your participation uh, through remote learning tomorrow. Uh, and for those of you that are coming back on September 14th for in-class instruction, in class instruction I can't wait to see you as well. So I'm gonna turn my camera uh, over to Paige Smith, our lead counselor, and she has just a few, uh, a little bit more information to share with you as well. So don't get dizzy. Here we go. This is like really kind of, this is my uh, automatic pushing, moving the camera myself. All right. Welcome Bobcats. We are working fast and furious in the counseling department, trying to get everything ready for you. We appreciate your patience. A lot of you have sent us emails um, because you saw your schedules yesterday that were blasted out to you from the district. So you've got questions, we know, and we are taking those emails and addressing them one at a time in the order that we've received them. So please be patient with us because we want to get your answers to you. Um, I wanna talk about schedules for just a minute. Um, if you did not receive one yesterday with the district um, email that was sent out yesterday morning, um, please go ahead and log into your home access center and check it there. Uh, we don't want all of you trying to log in at once uh, because it will cause our system to crash and we don't want that. So please, um, you know, just only check that if you need to, if you did not receive a schedule. Um, so another thing I need to talk to you about is, um, schedule changes. A lot of you have requested changes, um, an unprecedented amount of you, and we understand that. So just give us some time to work through those and help you to the best of our ability at this time. Um, a lot of you have been sending emails, um, parents as well, and we do want parent approval on those. So um, we will be eventually sending out a link to the parent only at the parent request. Um, if an if a, a change is required after the first day of school, okay? So that, that parent would need to request the link from the counselor, it will not be made public, and we will email it directly to the parent and they can request the change and we'll see if it's a possibility for us to grant that, 
okay? Um, another thing we wanna talk about is um, advisory. All of you should have an advisory period on your schedule. That's kind of like a homeroom for you newbies out there. And um, the advisory period um, is assigned as ninth period. And we don't have nine periods in our day, so don't worry. Um, some of you got an advisory assigned to you and it's on your schedule. And others of you maybe did not have one on there. Don't worry, we know who you are and we are updating that. So if you did not have an advisory, then again, you can check your Home Access Center later today and it should be updated. Um, so we're working on those today. Um, another thing that some of you might be worried about is if your schedule did change since you have since uh, received that first period Zoom link from your original first period teacher before the change, we're asking teachers just one final time tonight to check their class rosters and send out a reminder Zoom link. So if you didn't catch it the first time around, you should get it this evening. Hopefully, you know, sometime after seven o'clock, okay? So don't panic if you didn't get that original Zoom. If you don't receive an email from your first period teacher with that Zoom link, you can certainly reach out to your teacher and email them. Look on our staff website, email that teacher, and then uh, they'll send you that Zoom link, okay? Um, have some patience with everybody right now, please. Um, as we are having to have patience with people, we know everybody's, um, you know, all chomping at the bit to get going and they wanna be set and have everything perfect the first day. We are striving very hard to do that for you. Um, but remember, we have a lot of kiddos that are emailing us right now and parents as well. So we're just processing those one at a time as quickly as we can. Um, seniors. I know that you are chomping at the bit on college applications. I know that's an exciting time for you right now. So um, please understand that we are going to get some information rolled out to you very soon regarding how to request transcripts. We are not using Navians anymore. We are using something called Parchment and you will have to create a new learner account with Parchment. So um, we will be rolling out all that information to you very, very soon. Just please watch your email. So speaking of email, Dr. Myers mentioned, um, you know, that that's how we're going to have to kind of resort back to old school a little bit. Um, that's how a ton of communication is going to be sent to you. So please be diligent in checking that email several times a day because your teachers will be communicating as well that way. Um, let me see if there's anything I missed. Um, New students, welcome to Byron Nelson. I don't want to forget about you. We have um, probably close to 150 new students, Dr. Myers, at this point. Um, if we're not at 150, we're quickly approaching it. And new students, there is a video that was made um, by some of our um, staff here, and it is for ninth graders, but I think a lot of the information in that video is um, pertinent to you as well as a new student, even if you're a senior. And so you might wanna look on the Byron Nelson website, click on counseling, and we will post it under freshmen on the counseling website. So even if you're not a freshman, we'll, we'll post it under a uh, new student information as well. So um, even though it is meant for ninth graders, I think it's got good info for you. Um, so if you are having any issues as a new student, then please um, let us know as a counseling department because we want to make sure you're informed as well. A lot of the stuff that we're doing is new for every student. So you new students to our district, you're really kind of not that far behind um, because we're all learning this new way of doing things. So we're gonna all be in this together and I wanna reassure you that we're gonna be here for you and we are going to be there for those of you who are opting to stay at home after the 11th and for those of you that are returning. Um, so hang in there and let's get going tomorrow. Welcome Bobcats. All right, thank you, Ms. Smith. You know, uh, you are exactly right. We're all in this together. Hey, maybe that should be a musical. I don't know. Maybe that should be a song in a musical. Who knows? Uh, but uh, as as Miss Smith said, we we can't wait to see you all. Uh, we can't wait to get connected tomorrow. 
uh, through remote learning. And uh, I appreciate uh, uh, your patience, as Ms. Smith has mentioned. And uh, but we're gonna we're gonna make the best of a unique situation, and we're gonna be better because of it. So uh, until then, Bobcats, learn, serve, and lead. And I'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to record.